Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to see the latest changes from Let Code. So, of course, we have three products now. One is the Ortoni report, which is used in the Playwright, and then we have the Playwright runner, which is again used in the Playwright, and of course, we have the Chrome uh, uh, extension, right? So, that was not updated for a long time. So, of course, I have updated now. But still the review is in pending so maybe in another few days you will get the uh, latest version so now the current version is uh, uh, 3.0 and the updated version is uh, 3.0.1 okay so you can see it's in pending review maybe in one or two days it will also uh, updated and available for public use okay so maybe i will make a video once this is done but uh, yeah it's uh, the ua is now enhanced a bit and you can go and check it out so yeah okay let's talk about this playwright runner and the autony report so for the uh, first we will learn about the autony report so very simple step uh, you have to go to your terminal and copy the command and paste over here it will add the dependency so the latest version is uh, 1.117 so if you go to the change log which is available here uh, where is this yeah here so if you go to the change log uh, you can see there are some if you remember in the previous uh, demo video where i was showing and the screen went off so i have fixed that of course and there were some issues with the mobile layout that is also fixed and there is a new settings actually so uh, you can add your project or organization logo and then we have some documentation and some exception handling okay and few of the margins okay so i have made a video on the 115 but not like 116 or the 117 so uh, probably you'll see that now okay i don't know which version i have shown but yeah let's see so yeah the one package is there and you can see there is no vulnerabilities so of course it's uh, secure to use i can say okay uh, because it's, it's only the javascript so i do, i'm not doing anything crazy here whatever the playwright configuration is there so if you remember our playwright custom video i mean custom reporter video right so i'm just using the same thing just i'm getting all the data in the custom reporter and then i'm just trying to build a ui htm ui uh, based on the html so nothing crazy over here so it's very simple actually but it's just how you make use of your mind i will say okay okay um so here we have our default configuration so i'm going to run all the tests within the test directory and uh, we have like a screenshot video of course now the reporter also supports the video and here you can see like we have no folders like screenshots or anything so whenever we run our test uh, with the help of playwright so here we have to change this so it will create a folder called test results we are going to make use of the same so now playwright doesn't i mean autony report doesn't create any uh report okay so i'm going to remove the default report and i'm going to give it click autony dash report and then if you want to give some configuration you can give it here okay um but let me show you how to use without any configuration so i'm just going to run may probably my example spec here over here and yeah this is also another update the the uh, uh, playwright runner vs code extension so i'm just going to select like no environment for now and then if i go back and click on this execute playwright test here you can see like npx playwright test then followed by the name of the test so it's going to execute uh in the headless because the default uh, settings of the playwright is headless right so yeah that's what we are going to do now if i come back to this this is very interesting now so here we can give so i believe already you know about this extension this is basically used to run in different environment right so here you can select now we can pass the configuration or any other configuration make sure it is within the uh, dollar symbol then followed by double uh, curly braces okay i will give you that demo as well so here you can select the report is generated so if i go to the file uh, not here where it is it should be within the yeah this is the alternative report right so let's go and reveal in explorer and this is the alternative report now you can see like we have this uh, uh passed one failed one why we have two test um i just run one i guess okay um so it basically run in two browsers chromium and the firefox that's why we say it says like 
uh, two tests okay one got passed in the chromium and one got failed in the firefox maybe the timing sync issue uh, yeah actually i have, i intentionally I, I have failed it but still it got passed in playwright which is really bad i guess yeah never mind so here we can see like we are able to run in the firefox and we are running into able to run in the chromium so because i have like two projects here and whenever we run of course it will run based on the two projects okay now this is the default report you are not getting any logo not any name uh, the default theme is based on your system so if you can go and toggle this to make it like lighter or darker if you click on the screenshot of screenshot of course it will be in the model and similarly if you click on the video it will be also in the model dialect so if you go and play and you can of course go in full screen to see the video what is happening it's just a blank and then it open the page and it click on the get started okay anyways now if there is any failure of course you can see that in highlighted you will get the uh, file name so you can just copy this guy and go to your vs code Control p paste it you will end up in that particular line so which is really cool and we can see the what is the error message over here and you can also read your error logs okay logs in the sense like the console error okay and you can of course get back to summary you can see the chart you can see the test suite and duration success rate last trend and no other information this is the default report now i want to add my project logo i want to give my project uh, name i want to add some details of course you can do that okay so let's go back to our config file and let me do the import so here i can say like import then forward by from autony report okay now from the autony report of course we'll get the autony report config okay and here i'm going to say like const probably report config and it's going to be of type autony report config then the curly braces now if you give control space in typescape of course you will see all this thing so if you want to give the author name base 64 image so for now the images are in uh, file so you can see it takes from the test folder that is where layer at default location of screenshot so i'm just reading from there but of course if you want to give it like base 64 image of course you can do this already you know just wanted to show now the new thing is this logo if you want to pass the logo uh, you can pass it over here so for example let's say we want to give this uh, logo right so we'll just copy this location and then followed by the file name which is logo.png i guess yeah, it's logo.png i'll just copy this maybe copy and paste over here and remove the excess spaces yeah and yeah that's it it should work fine uh in windows i think if you give this slash you have to yeah any slash should work fine i don't think there's any be any issue okay uh rather than of course if you want to give some like preferred themes you want to give the project type test type or the author name of course you can give this just for the sake i will just give the author name yeah now let's go back to the uh, example same spec and i'm going to actually i have ran this where it, it is expected to pass but somehow it is it is getting failed but uh yeah that's not a big deal you know the script you know how to make it pass so yeah now if i run this of course it's going to run in head mode i mean headless mode and of course it's going to run in both the uh project the firefox and the chrome right so let's do some customization with our config i mean playwright runner so go to settings and click on the settings i mean open settings and click on this edit.json file and now we are here uh, before that how to make sure like it is updated so if you go to this extension and search for maybe you can search for name my name kaushik i guess you will get that yeah so here you can say like it's asking for the restart extension um last release was yesterday so of course i have to restart the extension let's do that now yeah the latest is like version 2.0.6 now of course it should work now go back to the settings so what we are going to do is we are going to uh we are going to make the like uh let's add a new config okay i'm going to make it like head i mean head mode and then i'm going to I, since i don't have any environment i will just skip this and of course of course after that we know that uh it will run based on the like uh what do you call that the script name right so this is what the configuration i want to add 
so let's go and add it here at the comma at the end i want to run in head mode also i want to run in the project right so you can say like dash dash project and here i can say like chromium is that chromium yeah it should be good so dash dash project i want to run only in the chromium and i want to run in the head mode okay save this and go back to your test file before that go here and select the no environment that is our default now let's go back to our script and i'm going to run this and it didn't take the value actually something is wrong let's oh yeah i have to select the head mode sorry so okay before that let me show you one more time so i'm going to run this now we are expecting to have the report with the image and metadata side so if you go here okay my bad i didn't pass the config right so here we have the report config and of course we have to pass this to our uh, this thing okay uh yeah that's it okay now if you see here the latest run of course it is run in the chromium and as well as in the firefox right so let's go and change this now i'm going to select the head mode so i'm expecting to see the ui now if i go and click this now you can see project is chromium it's going to run only in the chromium and it is headed that means we can see the ui right so isn't it cool the vs code extension the auto report everything is there don't worry okay so now you can see the this guy is there if i change into light theme it will be very good visible so you can add your um project logo organization whatever you want okay just make sure like the path you are going to give here should be correct because there is there was an issue in the github like report is not generated when logo is given but the path is wrong so just make sure the path is correct it can be absolute as well as the relative path better idea will be create a folder within your project and add the file and then just copy paste like uh, you can go and do like copy relative path paste over there that should work really fine okay so yeah so we got this now we can see on our project run only in the chromium browser with the help of vs code playwright test runner yeah okay so let me just show you why this is very important so basically like if you want to uh in my example in my project i have like two configures and sometimes i want to pass one config and someone sometimes other config right so in that case of course you can use this so when you click on the uh this this is known as code lens when you click on this code lens so based on your configuration it will run okay just to make sure you are passing it correctly so within the dollar um open curly braces and closing curly braces whatever you are going to give that will like for first it will take the environment then it will say like npx playwright test then followed by the file name with the line number and all your other comments okay so i hope you are able to understand about this new release of playwright runner and also the autony report if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply and also if you have any feature request or any suggestions or any bugs that you have find in any of my product you can go to my github and of course you can create an issue like already there is an ongoing issue is there uh let me explain this as well so if you go to your autony report copy i mean copy the file let's assume you are going to share it to someone you are sending the html file and if they open it will be really ugly to see actually so what is the reason uh if you go and inspect this and if you go and check like if you go to the head you can see all the icons all the style sheets are from node modules folder so if you want to share the report of course you have to uh, share along with the folder so uh, i'm trying to figure it out maybe in the next release i will definitely do that okay yeah so the coming back to the point of course you can create any pull request i mean you can create any issues and if you have code changes you can of course create a pull request so that is the good thing about open source okay so that's all for this video if you have any queries just ask me Tada, bye bye take care